Hello there. My name is Dan Hume, and I'm playing Receiver. This is a bit of a test to test my recording setup. So apologies in advance for anything that goes wrong. Receiver is a gun-based game. By which I mean not just that it's a, a first-person shooter, where of course guns are an important part, they provide the shooter element, but that it provides a, an accurate simulation of gunplay, and it really brings you some more awareness of, of the technicalities of firing a gun. So I've been given this revolver, And if I examine it, I can see that there are only three shells in it so far, so let's put three more in. I can spin them like that. And now I'm ready to go off and shoot some stuff. Shooting's not supposed to be a large part of the game you try and avoid encounters uh, as often as you can. The enemies you find are uh, unmanned robotic things called kill drones. And there are two kinds. There are the turrets, which you, if you're quick you, you'll have noticed in the, the bottom left of this room up ahead. There are also uh, flying kill drones. Which don't shoot, but they can uh, approach you very quickly and taser you. So we're going to try and take out this turret on the left. You'll notice it, it spins round. And the, the blue light tells you where it's looking. And if it sees you, it points towards you and starts shooting. But uh, as we've managed to catch it from, from an angle here where it can't see us, I'm going to pop off around that to see if I can... That one was a mile. Now you see, I timed that beautifully just as it caught sight of me. I managed to take it out. Sometimes in receiver it can be hard to tell whether you've successfully uh, disabled a turret. Because there are different parts that you can damage. You can damage the motor, which stops them spinning around. You can damage the gun, and you can damage the camera. Uh, if you damage the camera, it's obvious because the the blue light goes away. If you damage the motor, it's obvious because they stop spinning around. But they can still kill you if you happen to walk in front of them. Uh, if you damage the gun, it takes a bit more of a, a leap of faith because the, the turret still spins round, it still has the blue light, and if you if it catches sight of you, it will still beep and point towards you and look as if it's going to shoot you. It just doesn't shoot you. And, and apart from the not dying, there's no way you can tell that it's in this state. Uh, let's carry on. I've got to do a bit of a jump to get over to there. Running in receiver, is uh, different to most FPS games. You have to hold down, well, you have to keep pressing rather, the W key to run forward, uh, rather than just holding it down or pressing shift or something. Um, so let's make a, a flying leap across this gap here. Um, this kind of one story fall does actually kill you. So you do have to be very careful in this game. Uh, and especially with stairs, it's quite easy to, to fall off stairs. Uh, you can hear the, the action music in the background there. Uh, which means that there are more kill drones in the vicinity. And they appear to... Well, I can see the, the blue light of one just through that doorway there. Oh, you can't quite see it now. Yeah, if we get a bit closer to it, we'll see that. Uh, at the moment, I'm just checking around this room. It's a bit of a foraging game, this one, in that the aim is to recover the 11 tapes, which you can see in the, the top right corner. Um, but you also have to find uh, a flashlight if you don't spawn with one, which I haven't. 
uh, as well as more ammunition. Now you can hear from the action music there's going to be a turret through here somewhere. Uh, you see I just triggered the lag there that happens sometimes when you go through doorways. The, uh, the best time to shoot those turrets is uh, when they're pointing off to your right because uh, you can you can get the pivot there which will disable them completely but of course that gives you a very short window in which to do this you have to make your shot count if you're going to do that uh, as I've discharged a few rounds from this I'll, I'll show you the, the reloading process first you have to empty out all the duff rounds um, You'll notice that I've not actually fired six rounds, I've already fired five, so I'll pick up the, uh, the the one that I've just dropped on the floor, and then load the new ones one by one, and uh, cock it again. Now that's not actually necessary with this revolver, it's a dual action one, cocking is, is optional. You don't always get this revolver, there are three weapons in this version of the game. Apart from the revolver, there's a semi-automatic pistol, and you can see the blue light on this left wall here, which indicates there's going to be a turret over there somewhere. Oh, actually, it looks more like it's coming from over here somewhere. Or perhaps it's just behind this blue cylinder. Um, anyway, yes, there are three weapons, there's this revolver, it's a semi-automatic pistol, which uh, I rather like that one actually, it has good stopping power, and uh, there is a, an automatic pistol as well, but you never want to use automatic mode. <laughs> so you can just see the turret now, in fact I could be a bit lame and, and try and shoot the, the back of it there rather than expose myself. Or I can just take it out like that. So it's quite important. So you can still hear the, the motor wearing there, even though it's not working. It's a shame you can't just pick up the bits of turrets and use those as weapons, because uh, it would save on the ammunition dance you have to do. <whistles> Lots of turrets I'm getting today. You'll notice I've, uh, since reloading, I've spent one round. Uh, which means I have five more. It's important to keep track of that. Yeah, there's another one up there to the left, to the right. Didn't think it could see me then. All right, and there is a flying drone as well, which you can see the, the blue light off just on the floor there, which nearly got me. You can hear the funny noise it's making there uh, over the action music. Uh, I really don't want to go through this doorway with that drone there. It's very close to the door and I might not be able to shoot it before it can taser me. However, if I can lure it through the doorway, I can shoot it while it's in the doorway because they, they do tend to get stuck a bit on the doors and it makes them vulnerable when that happens. I can just see the back of it there. I might be able to take it out like that. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. Oh, no, it nearly came through then. I don't want to let it through the doorway. If I let it through the doorway, it will almost certainly have me. Uh, I also have to be careful not to poke out too far through the doorway, because there is a turret up there on the upper level. That's in danger of shooting me. So I'm being a bit timid here about this door. Uh, 
one-shot kills in this game, so it, it does pay to be timid, especially once you've collected a few tapes. Uh, I'm quite early in the game, so it doesn't matter so much if I uh, die at this point. But it's quite annoying if you've got uh, a good number of tapes and, and then you die to something silly. Oh, I can just see the bits of it, but I, not not enough to shoot reasonably. Ah, uh, no. No, too slow there. Oh dear. Aha! I managed to take out its its uh, rotor there, or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, another quick stop for a, a reload. I believe that's one round I have left. Oh no, I used them all there. I was a bit uh, uncautious. Uh, you'll also notice that I've actually used all of my ammunition there. So I've got to be very careful what I do from now on until I can find some more ammunition. Didn't manage to take out that turret there, so that's me dead. And uh, now I'll spawn in a new situation uh, with a different weapon. So this is the automatic pistol that I was talking about. Uh, I'm not going to do another playthrough, but I'll just show you the weapon. You can uh, remove the magazine like that. To put more rounds in the magazine, you have to holster the weapon because you need two hands free. Um, but as I've got lots of magazines and this one doesn't have many in, I'm just going to... I'm going to drop it, apparently. That wasn't what I meant to do. Uh, I'm going to take the rounds out of the magazine. I'm going to put it in my uh, infantry. And take this one. Well, that one's got the most in, so let's load that one up as far as it will go. And then drop that in. Now, you'll notice as well the slide is back. What well, you might not notice if you haven't seen this type of gun before. Um, but pressing the slide lock will do that. I can also inspect the chamber and see there is a round in the chamber. There isn't always because the gun state is randomly generated and uh, I can toggle between semi-automatic and automatic. Um, and uh, yeah, so as well as the, the starting state, the weapons you have being uh, procedurally generated or, or randomly selected if you prefer each time round, the, the layout of the map is as well. There are building blocks that don't change, like each room basically, this, this area we're in between these two doorways is a static building block and they're, they're joined together in a different way each time round. Uh, I'm going to pick up a torch here which I hold in my left hand while I hold my gun in my right hand so I can hold it next to my head the way that you do if you're uh, uh, trained in these things or I can cross my hands over and hold it with the, the backs of my hands together so that it's pointing the same direction as my weapon. So I'll just go on a, a quick walk to show you a bit more of the map. And you can see there's a kill drone over there. We've stumbled across, uh, apart from we stumbled across a draw distance uh, artifact there with the building disappearing. Um, there's a, an interesting feature of the game, which is that the, the kill drones are, are spawned in a kind of immobile state when they're far away, as this one is. You can just see it in front of the disappearing wall. Because otherwise, as soon as they spawn, they'd uh, be very dangerous and come right towards you. Uh, if it could shoot you from, from that far away, it would make the game a lot harder. So, uh, it won't actually start moving until I get closer to it. Uh, I can actually shoot it from here if I choose to. Or I can give it a sporting chance. But you don't give sporting chances to things that are going to kill you. Um, you can actually jump on top of these walls, but it's a bit tricky and um, because falls do kill you, uh, you do want to be careful over it. Um, but if you can, it, uh, it helps you to see if there's any turrets down below. Uh, oh, well, it didn't help me in this case, as there is one down there. Oh, I'm not doing very well with this one. Well, that looked like the gun was broken, 
but uh, I'm not quite sure. I, I wouldn't normally take that on faith. I'd uh, try and be sure it was disabled before approaching it, but since this is going to be the end of the video, let's just go for it and see. Aha, yes indeed. The gun's damaged, but the camera's not, so it still follows me, it still beeps, but it can't do anything about it. I, I feel a bit sorry for them when they're in that state. So, uh, right. so this has been Receiver. I hope you've enjoyed seeing uh, a little taste of the game. I've been Dan Hume. Thank you for watching.